All right, well, as we've learned from our Get to Know Idaho series, most cities and towns are named after something or someone, maybe a geographical feature like the Tetons or maybe even a person like Lewis Merriweather's in Lewiston. What about Kellogg, the town of Kellogg? It's about 30 minutes southeast of Coeur d'Alene at the base of Silver Mountain. And if images of Snap, Crackle and Pop or even Tony the Tiger just slipped into your mind, no one would blame you. However, the town is not a nod to the cereal giant, but its beginning and local legacy is a tribute to a beast of burden, believe it or not. Which is why this story comes with a warning. Just to let you know, as we get to know Idaho, we're about to say jackass, like a lot. The story goes, a man by the name of Noah Kellogg came to the area to prospect in 1885, with nothing more than flour, beans, bacon, and a traveling companion who carried it all, a jackass named Bill. Well, Bill wandered off one early September night, and it took weeks to find him, but they did, just two miles south in an area called Bordner, just grazing among a galena deposit, which is a fancy word for lead ore. Turns out, Bill was eating on what would eventually be established as the world-famous Bunker Hill Mine. It led to the city of Kellogg incorporating in 1907. And for nearly 100 years, that mine produced more than 28 million tons of lead, silver, and zinc. Then in 1981, the Bunker Hill Mine closed down, leaving thousands out of work and a slew of lead contamination. But Bill's legacy still lingers in the area too. In 1967, Jackass Ski Bowl, named in honor of Borough Bill, opened nearby though it didn't last long. In 1973, Jackass Ski Bowl went bankrupt, and later bought, and renamed Silverhorn. In 1990, it changed names again and is now known as Silver Mountain Resort. However, Kellogg has embraced its borough beginnings, its jackass genesis, if you will. The welcome sign still reads, this is the town founded by a jackass and inhabited by its descendants. And when you know it, the jackass, try that one more time. Yeah, the jackass mascot still living on to this day. Over the weekend, the city hosted its first ever jackass half marathon. And last year, Silver Mountain even held jackass ski day to honor the resort's original opening day. A lot of them on the hill that day.